hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition over here and we are going to name it as Main Animation as always we do. Width is 1920 and height is 180. Frame rate is 30 second long and duration is 30 second and background color is white color and simply hit OK like this. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Now I am going to press Ctrl Y on my keyboard to create one black solid and height I am going to choose 150 and width is 1920 and color is black and simply hit OK. Then we will lock this layer for now. Now I am going to select my text tool and I am going to choose Poppins font and let's uh, add white stroke but the stroke width I am going to choose 0.5 or 0.2 only very little bit and make sure to enable this all caps and you can choose any font you want but one thing you need to understand that whatever font you are going to choose make sure that this uh, has the thinner version of that font like this poppins font i have so many different versions like bold italic but i'm going to start with this thin over here like this and uh, distance between these alphabets i'm going to make it minus 35 like this okay so our settings of this character is ready and now we are ready to type our text so I'm going to type motion graphics like this. Okay, so this is my text. Now select this and go to the paragraph menu and make sure to choose this center text. Then press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now we are going to animate this text. So for that I'm going to go in my animate menu and I'm going to choose position over here and let's bring down this position somewhere around like this. Go to the range selector, create one keyframe at the start, zoom in a little bit, go to around 1.20 frames and let's increase the start value like this. Then go to the add property and choose opacity and let's decrease the opacity 0. So if you see this animation, you will get something like this. Now along with that, I want to add tracking amount also. So go to the add menu again, choose property and we are going to choose tracking and let's decrease this tracking value like this. Okay. Then select those keyframes and I am going to hit F9. Go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and we are going to move this handle over here. So if you see, you will get this kind of animation. Now, after uh, this, I am going to minimize this animator one and now I will go to somewhere around 20 frames. I will select this text, then I am going to select this animate menu over here and then I am going to click on this stroke width okay and if you increase the stroke width as you guys can see obviously you can increase the stroke width with the help of this then i'm going to uh, let's do one thing uh, let's increase the stroke width a little bit like this then go to the range selector let's create uh, make this end value alert zero initially create one keyframe and then zoom in a little bit let's go to around two seconds and let's make this value 100 like this now select those keyframes and also hit f9 Go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, I'll move this handle over here and move this handle over here. So if you see this animation, first I'll get this, then I'll get this. Okay, then this animator to go to the add menu, go to the property and choose tracking. And now over here, I'm going to increase the tracking amount for the sticks somewhere around like this. Okay, so if you see this, we will get this and then this now somewhere around 1.20 frames now from this points i want scaling animation for both of them so what i'm going to do i'll simply right click new and i'm going to create one null object let's select both the layers and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s create one keyframe then go to around three seconds and let's increase this value totally up to this so it should focus on this g now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you see this animation first we will get this then this and then this okay 
if you want then you can select those uh, sorry select those keyframes again and you can select this graph and you can move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so what will happen uh, it will start a little bit more faster let's do one thing move this over here like this okay and let's uh, select this keyframe and move this over here so we will get this kind of animation now add, we will get something like this if you want then you can move this a little bit closer also let's move over here okay now select both the things press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as one and hit ok now go inside this one select this black solid text and press s unlink this create one keyframe over here go somewhere around 20 frames and i'm going to create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this value zero now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so if you see this we will get this kind of animation and move this last keyframe over here like this okay let's go to the main animation and now we need to adjust them one by one so select this and hit ctrl d and change the color of this one to yellow okay press v for selection tool and we are going to move this over here make sure that it should touch the edge of the bottom comp again hit ctrl d let's move this over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here like this okay now let's make this fit now select all of this and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom and change the color of this one to red and let's bring them downwards and make sure that it should touch the edge of this okay now this is uh, which one this is one uh, is going to be at the top like this so if i see this animation we will get something like this now i want the animation to be one by one so what we will do let's see now make sure that this is my first one this is third one and this is the fourth one now we need to do reversible so let's hide all of the unnecessary now i'm going to select this fourth one which is over here i'm going to bring this at the top and select this third one and bring this over here okay so what will happen uh, their range is like this first this then second this then third this and then fourth this okay this is how you need to adjust same procedure we will follow for this one also but this one are already properly arranged one by one okay so this is uh, correct and now we need to adjust their positions so let's go to around five frames i'm going to select this this first and this one and let's move this over here go to around 10 frames select this third and sixth move this over here go to around 15 frames select this fourth and seventh and move this over here so we will get this animation one by one okay so this is how we will get now uh, select all of them hold alt open bracket to trim this out and go to the start and let's move this over here okay and select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text animation like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now i want this animation should be in the form of loop so i'll go to around one second i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here then again i'll go to around two seconds i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this but uh, let's hide this and make sure that this should be looking proper but i want this second animation should start a little bit later so i'll move this over here let's delete this one i want this second animation should start from 1.15 frames so i'll select this and i'll move this over here okay like this but if you see over here this is randomly starting so instead of doing that let's select all of them hit ctrl a let's move this over here and change the duration up to here only we don't need to trim this out so i'll adjust it over here like this let's move this to let's say two seconds maybe or zoom in a little bit let's go to around 1.10 frames and i want this should start from here 
so first i'll get this then i'll get this now again i'm going to take a distance of uh, same thing so second i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d and now this one should start from somewhere around over here like this okay then again i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d and this should start around five frames so if i go over here now i'll hit b and if i go over here i'll hit n so now i'll get this animation in the form of loop between these points but over here if you see the background is uh, white and you will get this something like this so to get rid of it simply press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose black solid background and we will bring this backward like this okay now go inside this and uh, make sure that there is no black background like this now let's do one thing select this hit ctrl d again and let's go to around 6.20 frames let's go over here and hit b let's go over here and then hit n and now if you see this animation you will get this thing in the form of loop okay so this is how you can create this kind of a little bit complex and uh, looping text animation inside of after effects